What bro is yeah. up, guys? Hey, is that the way to start lifestyle investing? Yeah. Where we invest based on our lifestyle to build, build a future lifestyle. Last one we were talking about the big how sh- the big shot, the long shot, the long shot, man, yeah. long the shot. Movie. His name is Blackburn. So maybe oh, that's why yeah. you're mixing up backburner, backburner. Yeah, throw it on the backburner. Throw it on the backburner. Throw, throw it on, on the, the blackburner. The black, black blackburner. Yep. <laughs> oh my. The long Anyways, if you guys yes. watched the last one, if you didn't watch it real quick, yeah, just go back. Um, yeah, yeah, just be the the last show. Yeah, that that was literally just on it. So right. watch it, then watch this one because we're gonna go a little bit more in depth about how I got pitched this idea to yeah, invest in this one. Okay, is. so we went over all the producers and then yada 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 yeah. Let's kind of look at the numbers. Like I'm really curious. There's Steve Race, who's the okay. football coach. Yeah, what's this letter? What what's a sign letter? No, right here. What? Right underneath. What? Right here. That's a sign Steve, letter. subject to the completion of good faith negotiations between both parties, it is my intent to serve as an executive producer and to appear in a leading role in the motion picture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Role. Kevin Sorbo. Oh, so I guess Kevin yeah. Sorbo, he said he'll yeah. do that to the producer. Future film. Yeah. And then somebody else signed it. How come Sorbo signed again? Yeah, I guess they Same. Oh, it's my play. Oh, uh, here we go. Subject to, this is really cool to get some insight. Yeah, it is kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, because okay. it essentially has all the producers and and actors signing that. Yeah, yeah, we, we agree to to go in the movie and whatnot. Right. So yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So if you guys invest in in uh, in a movie, I guess that's something to look out for. You know. That what? Then making sure, yeah. making sure that they're actually all going to be in it. Right? Oh, right. Because if you invest yeah. in a movie and then you find out, yes. like, oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not going to be in the movie now. Like, yeah, you know, that's I still think that why. this letter, you can't hold it up in court. Like, oh, Kevin Scorbo signed it. He said he's going to be in the movie. Oh, that right. could be part of the scam. I'm like, oh, no. Instead, it's going to be the guy from the cereal commercial that you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's I I tend to believe Kevin Scorbo. He's got a face that says it's believable. believable. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Maybe that's why it's not good for me to invest in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm starring in it. I don't think I'm going to invest in it. Damn, man. Dude, okay. So look at this. So grand total. What is this? The category. So th- now this looks like this is the cost. So the cost to make the movie is six million seven hundred ninety-four thousand. So six point eight million. Just for the cast, the day players, which are extras, I assume. Yeah. And the stunts. Two point five million. Just for the cast, day players. What does it say? Two point five. Two point four nine three. Oh yeah, so the cast, day planners, and stunts, two point five mil. Interesting. Yeah, director gets one eighty five, producer gets four twelve. That's a lot of money, four hundred twelve grand. Yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. I mean, actually, I, I mean, I don't even know. And a producer, I thought he was putting money in. The producer, 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 yeah, I thought producers put money in, but that's maybe executive producer. See, we don't know about the movie business. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's the thing. I, th- I think that's a big red flag yeah. for anyone that's trying to invest. Yeah, undercarriage. What? Gotta pay for wax coating. It's like buying a car, you know. What does it say that? No, I'm just kidding. You know, oh, like, oh, you got what? I gotta pay for keys. <laughs> mm. Clip licensing. I would love to know what a clip license is. How much is that? Two hundred fifty. Dude, that is. Yeah, two fifty. Two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a clip licensing. Clip license, dude. We gotta give these guys a discount. Let's I see, a clip license there. I know, man. Two fifty yeah. grand every yeah. movie. Shoot, we do that once a year, and you're yeah. done. Check this out. Projections. Oh, so these are the projections. Oh, nice. Okay. So obviously, obviously, anyone can inflate projections, and I, and I think this is a good point we should make real quick. Okay. So anything that you're buying, whether it's real estate, whether it's going to be a, uh, investing in a movie, whether it's going to be in a business, they always overestimate the projections. Yeah. yeah. Even, right. even like one key thing where I know, like an impar- uh, apartment investing. What they'll do before they even sell, they even list it, right. is like the six months before, you know, they'll cut employee costs and whatnot. They'll, yes. they'll, they'll, they'll fire a few people. Yeah. They'll increase the vacancies by throwing in a, a, a couple uh, uh, horrible tenants and whatnot to, to show that, oh, yeah, they're getting these rents for like a few months, but they won't even last like a year. So they inflate those numbers huge because then it's based off of how much people are actually going to invest in it, right? If it's making 100 grand versus 50 grand, obviously they're going to invest more in the 100 grand one. So these are obviously going to be inflated as well. Yeah. So keep that in mind as well. So we got low. Mm-hmm. Low for box office gross is 36 mil. High is 66 mil, hmm. which is a gross. Um, from the rental? From the rental. What is that? Oh, okay. So rentals and then the theater. So it's like three. Oh, they have to pay the theater. 
Yeah. No, 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 no. That, that's how much money they're going to make at the at the actual like ticket box at the theater. Right. But then they, it says less exhibitor slash theater share. So that's the subtraction. Oh. So they're paying for it. Uh, they're paying seventeen million to the theater and only making eighteen. I, I see. What you're they're saying. paying thirty two and making thirty three on the high. Yeah. So man, theaters are doing good money, I guess. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of cool. They make like what a third more half. half. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, half. Like half. Well, yeah. Okay. Dude, that's not bad. Distributor right stuff and advertising. Okay, domestic theater net profit. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, look, distributor fee and after advertising. So. Basically, sixty-six in the box office. They're only getting fourteen million. Yeah, yeah. interesting. And here, let's do a little close-up to, to people okay. that actually want to see. They can see. You know, yeah. obviously, I'm not going to hold this for like 20, 20 minutes. Yeah, check that out. Look. There you go. You can pause it. Yeah, you can pause it. Boom, pause it, and then check that out with us. All yeah. right, walk Pretty through crazy. with us. Huh? Yeah. So, and then there's another section as you can see from the DVDs. Oh, where you make yeah. extra money on the DVDs? Yeah, home video, DVD, pay cable, network. It's a good amount of money. What's the biggest hitter on that one? Um, network TV revenue. Network TV. So they're counting on like ABC or NBC or somebody to, um, to buy the rights to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. And then foreign, they're expecting another $5 million net from foreign. So outside of who America. The, who the heck's going to buy it? I think it's gonna watch a American football movie where where people in the U.S. don't even know who the player is, right? I don't yeah, know. I know that makes sense. You know, I mean, people like a good story. I think, this. yeah, but I think that this is a template. I don't think any real research has gone into this. I don't think so. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally. Yeah, I totally which I think it. most people reading and looking at this as a potential investor are going to think, oh my God, look at all this research. But I don't think so. I think they just plug in one number on top and it's... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I feel like the more like the more of these like little things go yeah. in, it shows like it's more sophisticated. Right. than when I Because, yeah, you can look at that on paper and be like, wow, man, there's a lot of work that went in there. They show me the low, they show me the high yeah. and all that. Because even on the low, I'm making money. Yeah, dude. Right. Even, low. even if it only makes $36 million in the U.S. and how much in foreign? Uh, Eleven. Eleven, yeah. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. And then they do yeah. some comps. Yeah, they look at. They, of course, they show the Blind Side. Oh, this movie's yeah, just yeah. like the Blind Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was like Oscar winner, I know. number one in the box office. Dude, let's talk about that more in the next one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, because I have a real good thought about that. Okay. We got. Yeah. We're okay. There. Hey, so we're gonna wrap this. This is crazy. crazy. So we're actually digesting a true investment right now. And so uh, I hope you guys pause a little bit on the uh, when I showed you guys the actual numbers. Yeah, pause. Go back to that and pause it. Yeah, because really look at that and then kind of listen to what we're talking about and a little yeah. bit key points of what we're bringing up. And I'd right. love to hear what your guys' thoughts are as well. So feel free to, to drop them in the comments. Uh, shoot us an email, whatever you guys want to yeah. do. We'd love to hear this. Because Ask lifestyleinvesting at gmail.com. Boom! Here we go.